guys Mike G with the MDG collections on hand today ladies and gentlemen this is the 2019 Ram 1500 limited crew cab 4x4 I'll be like how are you <laughs> That's around. Like that video. And he was, he was, he was killing it. He was killing. It. Now, now he's a manager, so, so now he can't, you know. He's a good dude. I know, man. He's, he's a man. He's a gentleman. He's a good dude. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So one of my subscribers here at the dealership watched the videos. He wants to take a picture. So let's do that now. I had to come get this truck out of ship mode and so the navigation and everything can work. Got that all done. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing them regular. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, um, that video, the 7% rule, I told you. I was telling you, that's a very good video. I say, I love that video because it's very educative. So you're doing everything, but then you turn around, you, you give us some kind of uh, education. It's very good. So I, I, told, I told Javier, this is a very good video. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I learned from it and, and, and stuff. That's all I can tell you. And it yeah. works. Let me tell you something. It definitely it works. works. And, and you, know, you know, these finance guys, they complicate things, but like the way you explain it, like you break it down like in, in simple terms. In simple not, terms. Not trying to, you know, be, you know, elitist, you know. And listen. So it makes sense because it's easier to, to understand. To, to understand. That's yeah. that's that's what I try to do. I try to break it down where yeah. it's simple. So it's like people, yeah. people understand it. It's not like yeah. something that's confusing. And, and when you do it yeah. and you see it works, you're like, oh, that, that was simple. You know, yeah. they make it complicated. It's really yeah. not. And, and that's how you get these yeah, cars. Yeah, I didn't know that there's these, uh, all these other apps that you could use actually to help you monitor your credit and everything. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to get one of these now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely gotta yeah. do that so you can see what what they see. You can see what they yeah, actually see. When you go in, yeah. you already know what they what, what they see. And so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, who's this right here? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you go. Though. But thanks, man. <laughs> he called me. He told me um, he use coming around. I said, yeah, I'm like this guy. I said, I'll check my. <laughs> I see you. Brother. All right, so let's buckle up first and take this bad boy for a ride. Now, what I do like about these 2019 Ram 1500s are they are very, uh, the, the suspension is very bouncy, but it's bouncy in a good way. It's not like a bad bounce. So, which is how they're designed. It's, it's designed to be like that. Now, definitely a big difference from driving in my Daytona and this this truck is just real nice man a V8 big engine we'll go over the specs once I park and get her in the parking lot where I do my reviews and I'll take my big main camera out my Canon M50 so right now we're just on the GoPro so I can be hands-free uh, and be safe so definitely nice being high up very roomy can seat up to five these guys looking right now got a truck right next to me it's just checking this truck out like he wants to buy it it does have an air suspension and as you guys will see once we get parked uh, i'll show you all the features a guy walking in front of me he's pointing at the truck right now of course the camera's facing at me so you can't really see him it's, it's amazing in a truck like this it turns heads all right so she definitely gets up over 300 plus horsepower. I'll give you guys the exact numbers once we park. So definitely a big roomy truck. <laughs> I would definitely see myself getting something like this. When I move back to Texas, uh, I'll need something big like this to haul around in. But very nice as far as space. And uh, the suspension is very responsive when it comes to bumps, but it's, it's got a lot of cushion to it. So. This touchscreen display is just beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you guys on the camera. So I got my seat all the way back as far as it goes, as far as the slide, the seat part. And the back can go back a little bit more. There we go, this is how I like to be, just like this. All right, so let's start with the front of this 2019 Ram Beast 
and it has a very nice aggressive front end as you can see and the big ram logo right here in the center grille it also has a front facing camera if you can see that right here your two hitches here for towing in reverse if you want to pull something and this chrome grille gives it a really nice luxury look very aggressive at the same time and rugged all right so right here you have your ram badging within the light housing very nice how ram is doing this side marker here on the right passenger side also your 1500 hemi 5.7 liter badging on the passenger side of the hood i'll back up so you guys can kind of see how that looks you got some flares here a little wide body kit <laughs> here on your front fender and on the side of the door on the passenger side door you have your ram badging and it says limited so ram limited right here a chrome bar all the way at the bottom from the rear of the vehicle all the way to the front you also have your chrome on the side mirrors with a side marker that also has ram badging within it here on the rear door the chrome goes all the way around and you have a little separation gap where you have a little piece of chrome on the tip of the bed right at the rear of the vehicle a little space in between another flare that goes over the rear tire and this paint is really nice this one is black and here we are again with another black vehicle so very nice around back here's your tail lamps tail lamp design and you have four by four badging right in the center you have your ram badging and to the left you have your limited badging all in chrome all right so here's the key fob right here very nice key fob with your unlock lock and you can hit this center button twice to drop down your tailgate hit this button twice it looks like for the air suspension and hit this button twice to automatically start the truck and here's your horn panic button at the right so just keeping your key fob in your pocket you put your hand behind to unlock and you press this button to lock and the horn sounds you can turn that off now I want to show you guys from this angle how the lights flash when you put your hand behind this and your side step automatically comes out let's just do that again close the door give it a few seconds and this should automatically retreat pretty nice so once you open the door the vehicle is still unlocked right now once you open the door you are greeted with your side step that automatically comes out so you can just step right on it and get in so passenger side door compartment space here for two water bottles which is very nice and some areas to store here and also in front and you have your two bottle or cup holder compartments right in the center you also have some storage here on the second level up and you have your unlock and lock switch and your automatic window up and down switch nice little rugged stitching pattern design along the leather interior of your passenger side door all right so you have a full leather wrap dash and you have this nice texture right here in the center that you can press this button right here and that opens up and you have a compartment space where you can put whatever you want in here so that's pretty nice just drop that down like this here's your vent for your ac and heat glove compartment is pretty nice you have some storage compartment here on the passenger side of your center console leather seats ventilated and heated in this particular model you have your stitching white stitching your automatic slide front and back on the passenger seat and the tilt for your back four-way lumbar also on the passenger side seat here on your side step you have a little chrome accent design right here on the side and of course your Harman Kardon stereo system all right so moving to the back very roomy once again you have a continuation of your it's like a aluminum brushed look on this latch to open the door you also have your white stitching that continues here in the back switch for your rear window a little storage compartment for the upper part of your door on your passenger side the rear door and you have one bottle holder here in the rear door of your passenger side 
some storage here and some storage here leather seats all the way across bench style seating you also have your 60 to 40 split fashion seats that drop down and you guys all know how that works and another nice speaker back here tons of room i got these seats all the way back and i'll get in the back so you guys can just see how much space is really back here so in the middle right here you have your 115 volts where you can plug in just like an outlet in the house you have two usb type c two regular usb ports here right below them so that is great that they are doing that now where they're giving you usb type c since a lot of the phones have converted over to usb type c from usb you have a little space here i guess you could put whatever you want in here coins or whatever you want to put a little compartment space there and you have your vents for your passenger side and for your driver's side on the back of the seat some storage space right here all right so your tire size is 285 45 22 so a 22 inch rim chrome and gunmetal finish grayish looking design on these rims and i almost forgot here you have parking sensors galore here in the front so one here one there your third one there fourth and fifth and then you have a sixth one here around the corner all right so you have some led lighting in your bed so if at night it's very dark this will light up led very nice uh, it's daytime now so i can't really show you guys but around here as i told you before led tail lamps uh, they look very nice i'll turn the lights on in a minute so you guys can see it in some b-roll and press this button right here to open her up and she goes down really smooth got your two cables right here on both sides with a nice hydraulic drop down and of course it is lined really nice so you can just throw stuff back here you don't have to worry about anything getting scratched up this is very durable all right so on the driver's side i will step in and show you guys a little handle right here so i'm stepping on this and getting in and it is definitely roomy back here. I have this seat all the way back. And as you guys can see, I have plenty of knee room. I'm 6'3", and let me tell you something. There's tons of room back here. I have this seat all the way back when I was just sitting up here driving the vehicle, as you guys will see on the drive. And it, there's just tons of room back here. Uh, we're going to turn her on in a minute, and I'll show you some of the new technology that is in this new 2019 Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab 4x4. Okay, so right here, you have this little latch right here. You can pull it down. You have a compartment for two bottle holders or cup holders. And you also have a button you can lift up. And more storage right here in the center. All right, so there's a little latch right here where you can pull up just like this. And you can lift your seats up if you wanted to put something in here and you need more space. I should say if you're going grocery shopping and you don't want your stuff to be out here and get soaking wet in the rain. You can put all your groceries right here and lift this up. It also lifts up on the driver's side also. All right, so I came on the driver's side so you guys can see this. Same thing, this little latch right here. You just pull up and you can pull both seats up all the way across on this bench style seating and have tons of just cargo space. All right, so inside of the vehicle right now, you can just step on the brake and you press the push button start right here to start her up and some very nice graphics here in this 2019 ram 1500 extremely nice your speedometer cluster very rich you can also change the dimness on this if at night it's too bright but it looks very rich so here on the left you have your light switch where you can turn your lights off you can put them on auto and here to put your parking lights on so let's just keep this on auto this switch here is for your cabin lights to lower them and then all the way back up to make them as bright as possible and when you see this little logo right here that is for your center cluster and all your lights that are on your dash to make them dim or increase the lighting on them also all right, so on your driver's side, you have your mirror controls. All right, you hit left, and you can control your left mirror, your driver's side mirror. And if you hit the right button, it will control your passenger side mirror. And right here, you have your automatic window down, 
and just one touch and also just one click up and it goes back up just like this your two switches for your rear windows to lock it and your unlock and lock button for the doors that works for all four so right here in the center you have your ram badging which is really nice uh, i like how that design pops out and they have it kind of three-dimensional so right here you have your to answer your phone and to hang up your phone once it's paired right in the center you have your button for your voice recording and your ok button your up arrow down arrow and left and right to control what is going on here in your center cluster and on this side of the steering wheel you have your cruise control button or how far or how close you want your adaptive cruise control to be activated or be sensitive your cruise control button here in the middle your set plus your reset your set minus and your cancel button and you also have your gear limit button your plus and negative right below those buttons on the steering wheel now to the right of your steering wheel you have your controls for your four-wheel drive auto two-wheel drive your four-wheel drive high and your four-wheel drive low and on these new rams there is no column shifter or anything like that it's just basically you putting your foot on the brake and you turn this little knob to go into reverse and there's your rear camera which we'll look at in a minute to have her in neutral and to have her in drive to then take off well let's just keep her in park right now and you can feel the vehicle shift in each gear every time it's pretty nice now in these rams your gauges are pretty fixed as far as right here where your cool and heat is your rpm gauge you can change this in the center but over here you have a traditional speedometer gauge goes up to 120 miles per hour and your empty and full fuel gauge so hitting this arrow up and down let's just go through some of these i'm going to be hitting these arrows i'm just going to get close in so we can see this pretty clearly so we will hit the down arrow starting from your speedometer and number two is your vehicle info and when you see that arrow you can go to the right and go through each option within that menu of number two which is vehicle info oil temperature your oil pressure your oil life battery voltage gauge summary engine hours and back to your tire pressure now you hit the down arrow to go to number three your driver assist this is your adaptive cruise control this vehicle does have adaptive cruise control and in the front it is that camera and radar integrated system just how I have on my Daytona bring it down to number four your fuel economy there's just two menus in here so you can see to the left and right at the bottom these little arrows tells you that there's something you can you can scroll through within that menu so you have your average MPG and you have your current and your average going down to number five is your trip info you got trip A and trip B going down to number six is your audio whatever station you're on at the time number seven is your messages all right if you have any stored messages that you need to get cleared they will be here and you have your screen setup. you can press ok to enter screen setup and change certain things around within your screens and then back to your speedometer all right here you have some switches this is for your air suspension right here there's three levels you can press it one to go down two and three right here the second one is your stability control your traction control you have your tow and haul button your parking sensors you can turn them off for the rear and you can turn them off for the front if you want to when you turn them off a little light comes on but of course we want those on so when you do turn them off you get this so that little button that I showed you to turn the parking sensors off it turns them off here in the center it tells you that they're off so for the front and for the back you won't get the little beeps when you're parking 
I don't know why you would not want that unless you're just trying to be discreet and not wake somebody up in the cabin, who knows. But when you turn them back on, they show you a little illumination that they're back on. All right, so right here you have your emergency lights or hazard lights, whatever you would like to call them. You can hit home right here. It goes back to the home screen on your touchscreen navigation. You have your media, your comfort, your navigation, your phone, and your travel link. Right here at the bottom, you have your media, your controls, your climate, your apps, your navigation, and your phone when you pair it. And you also have a backup camera that you can just go to when you are in the park position. You don't have to be in reverse. You can just see what's behind you by pressing that button. So to exit out, hit the X just like that. And once again, you can just hit this back camera and it goes right to your back camera just like that. You also have your physical buttons that are here if you don't want to be in a touch screen for the passenger side, dual climate control. And here's for your driver's side, dual climate control. Uh, you can hit this and drop, hit this up button to increase it. As you can see, it's going up or you can just get your finger here and just slide up like this. So let's drop that back down. It is 77 degrees out here in New York City. You have your auto right here button, which is a physical button and not a touchscreen button to make your climate be automatic based on what the temperature is outside. So at the very bottom, your apps, you just hit apps like this and they all come up. The UI has been upgraded in this particular RAM. It looks very nice. You can hit this side arrow right here to go to the next screen and it, you know, I can just, just see how much more responsive it is in this RAM even compared to my car which is 2017 so very nice I love how the transition of the next screen goes across pretty smoothly and here's all your apps right here you can go into your climate when you go into your climate you can see where the air is blowing where your vents are blowing on you and in the lower part just on the lower part of your body and your defrost and we have it here it also gives you a little level of your fan speed so if you go up to four and five and of course back down three is a good number now it has right here your home button and you have a settings button right here at the top and in your settings button let me just back out a little bit so you guys can see that you can go into all your settings your language your unit your clock and date safety and driving assistance your display your voice settings, your camera, and your mirrors and wipers. Go into camera, it lets you set up how you want your surround view camera to be set up. So let's just X out of that and go back home. So once again here in the front, you have two USB ports and then right above it you have two USB type C ports and an auxiliary jack right in the center. You also have a CD disc player right here and that is very rare for a 2019 vehicle but a nice touch right here you have a wireless cell phone charging port which is very nice also and down here you have a 12 volt household plug outlet and that is very nice also very deep storage here in the center you press this button to slide this forward press it again to pull up even more and you have some storage here for coins. You have your main storage right here. And your second storage here at the top. You also have another USB port here in the inside of this second storage. All right, so right here you have your 12 volt charging port and it has the key which lets you know that the ignition needs to be running for that to be active up here at the top you have your close and open of your sunroof and it's a panorama sunroof let's just do that right now so let's just open it all right now you have this button right here where you can open and it opens all the way to the back. You also have this 
open and close for your rear window. Just open it. You actually got to hold it down, so. All right, to close that, you just pretty much hit this right here. And it closes just like that. And of course, to finish closing it, you hit this first one right here. And it closes her all the way. Okay, over your driver's side of the vehicle, you have a three garage control system opener. So for garage one, two, and three. All right, you got your subwoofer right here, your Harman Kardon subwoofer right here in the center. All right, guys, let's go check out the engine on this bad boy. All right, so in a very bizarre spot, let me see if I can get my camera down there, right in the center of your steering wheel all the way down and not in the typical spot right here is your latch to pop the hood. And let's just do that now. All right, so a little left latch that's under there and then the rest goes up just like this. So Hemi V8 5.7 liter, 395 horsepower, 410 pounds feet of torque. So the torque is definitely where these big trucks use for their towing capability. So 410 in the torque and just 395 in the horsepower, but that is definitely a lot of horsepower for a big engine like this and for a big truck like this. So eight speed automatic transmission and very roomy in this engine bay. You can get to a lot here in the front for people that are not as long and tall for your fluid, your windshield wiper fluid. guys so I want to just tell you if anything I miss and my first time experiencing one of these Rams I will put in the description portion of this video and you guys can check out what is standard and what is optional on this vehicle so I want to thank my guy Javi Jeeps once again and of course Mr. Mark Lamassa my guy longtime friend both managers at East Chester Chrysler Jeep Dodge and they are the best in the business real down-to-earth guys and uh, my friends so I'll put their info up on the screen like how I always do my dealership the address and the phone number and you can ask for either one of them and tell them I sent you and that will also be in the description portion of this video and that is going to do it for this upload give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap.